design and development of flagship engineering and architectural projects requires the dedication of a large group of professionals. At IDOM, we work alongside our clients from the very beginning, using BIM methodology in order to deliver a truly collaborative project. BIM allows us to develop 3D digital models to manage the technologies of the project and the input generated by the various teams whilst reducing time and costs. Real-time visualization of the building information model means everyone is on the same page. Modifications are shared and problems are mitigated, resulting ultimately in a successful project. Adam have delivered a very robust and detailed design Dublin Airport is very constrained. The critical taxiway project will deliver efficiency, flexibility and safety by providing new taxiway infrastructure. One of the big challenges for this project is getting stakeholder engagement, airside operations, airside safety, ATC and all the various other airlines in the airfield. This allows us to program the works and to produce accurate cost estimates. It gives people an impression about what we are building. These challenges can be found and settled in the uh, design phase. The main goal of the LightWeb project is to make Copenhagen more green. We will optimize the project when we go to the execution phase. When we go to construct this, a lot of things that usually will be found in the construction part of the project are found earlier in the design phase. We have so many people involved in the project uh, and that's the biggest challenge to get all these things coordinated. I think the biggest issue we have is the interfaces. The 3D modeling part of the project is the biggest help that we have in order for us to interface it. If there's something in the ground that needs to be coordinated. BIM actually uh, changed the way in which we work, which really gives a tangible feel for what we're trying to do here in Metrolink. Dublin is a growing city. Metrolink's main goal is to deliver an integrated public transport um, system. So there are multiple stakeholders to this project, and that's where BIM is very helpful. The life cycle asset that we will end up owning at the end of this will be fully recorded through the BIM process. So it's not just about designing for design's sake, it's about designing for the operational life cycle of the project. We're able to communicate more effectively and efficiently about the changes that we want to, uh, to have made in the design, a collaborative working relationship we have with it to deliver what we think will be a very, very successful project. The biggest BIM challenge that we are facing is to uh, manage the information in the same way because we have many different designers who are coming on board with their own expertise and uh, aligning all of that, it's a big challenge. While we use BIM to create collaborative design and build processes, we will use digital twins to model how people interact with the built environment. At IDOM, BIM is much more than building information modeling. It is better information management. We now have the tools and best practices that make us an even more efficient engineering and architectural companion, accompanying the client and engaging stakeholders with technology and commitment that is second to none.